let's talk about it. My Trojans, their winning streak got ended this season by Utah in a nail biter, 43 to 42. At one point, USC was up 21 to 7. Yeah, and then at one point, I mean, they was up 28 to 21. Then they eventually got tied 35 to 35. USC did score, obviously. And then Utah scored again. To, well, they didn't even tie them. They went for the two. And ah, it, it, this, is, this is tough because I really believe that you know, USC was going to run the table, but I was wrong. So I'm here to make this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be objective. I'm going to say what it is. You know, so. Yeah, the Utah quarterback, I'm just going for it as that. The Utah quarterback, he ran for a touchdown, then ran again on a two-point conversion. So USC's defense just could not stop it. Now, here's my take on why I think USC's defense was so bad this game. Uh, number one, they're opportunistic de defense, meaning that they have to create turnovers. They were able to get a fumble in the red zone. I believe, yeah, in the red zone, but the offense wasn't able to convert because they were so far back. But the main difference between this game and the other games at least from my, my memory, uh, USC didn't get any interceptions. That's been their ace in the hole, so to speak. When they're able to get interceptions, that equals basically a guaranteed win for this new USC team that's been put together this season. And they didn't get any interceptions. The USC, the USC uh, defense, they just could not do anything with... Yeah, they just could not do anything with mainly the, the, the quarterback, but specifically Dalton Kincaid. He's the tight end for Utah. And what I believe was happening is that they were exposing USC in their cover two defense. Um, this is my belief. Kincaid was basically running up the seams in cover two, and he was decimating uh, the zone coverage that USC was playing. I believe it was cover two, if I'm wrong, and you know exactly what coverage it was. If it wasn't cover two, let me know. But that's what I believe happened. And he he was just, Utah was just exploiting, and USC had no answers. And what I believe is that, you know, it's kind of like a fight where if you're used to knocking people out, you know what I'm saying? You never really been touched up. And once you get punched hard, you know, you hit, but they punch you back. It's kind of hard to get that out your memory. And that's how it came off. Like Once Utah was able to actually start scoring, it seemed like USC's defense mentally could not handle the Utah, you know, the Utes fighting back. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. I think this was USC's best game offensively. I think this was Caleb Williams' best game overall. This was definitely Mario Williams' best game overall. Brendan Rice, I need to criticize him. He was off this game from that first play where he missed that that uh, catch. He should have caught that ball. This is the first play of the game. It would have been an easy first down. He dropped it. Then he would held towards the very end when Relique Brown got the ball. I think he was going to hit the four-yard line. So USC wouldn't have been too far off from attempting to kick a field goal had they kept the yardage on the kickoff. But Brendan Rice held, and that pushed USC all the way back on that last drive. So they pretty much had no chance to even attempt to kick a field goal. So I am putting some blame on Brendan Rice. He just seemed mentally off. He needs to get it together. Uh, I think USC will win the rest of their games. You know, obviously I'm putting that in the universe. I am concerned about... Uh, the UCLA game, you know, they just got wiped off the, the field by uh, Oregon. Shout out to Oregon for uh, knocking them out, uh, at least giving them uh, their first loss. I'm hoping that USC will give them the second loss, and then USC will be able to face Oregon in the title game. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see what happens. Uh, Pac-12 title game I'm referring to. 
But uh, yeah, this is this is really tough. Uh, I, I really thought the USC was going to, you know, run the table. But, you know, they lost one game. It's not the end of the world. And this is arguably USC's best offensive game. I think they will continue to be the juggernaut that they are uh, the rest of this season. But I need the defense to get it together so they can beat UCLA, beat Notre Dame, and head to the Pac-12 title game and go against Oregon. Because I think Oregon is going to be the the team that comes out of the North. I don't know if they erase that. I can't remember. But I think they'll be, you know, the opponent, um, you know, for the Pac-12, at least the first team to, to enter the Pac-12 title game. So, yeah, man, it's tough. Um, I, also, i like to say from Coach Riley, this is a really good – he has some really good play designs in this game. Really good play designs. And yeah, I was I was really impressed. I was really impressed by by the play designs on offense. So once again, I think the offense will continue to be a juggernaut. But yeah, that damn Utah quarterback, I'm not gonna say his name, damn it. I don't even want to speak his name because of the, the terror that he caused the USC defense. But King K, I gotta give respect to King K. He should be a, a quality tight end in the NFL given that this is his senior uh, senior year um, with Utah, so he should get drafted, especially the way he played against USC. But, um, yeah, man, USC, they'll win the next game against Arizona. They'll start a new streak and head to the Pac-12 title game, man. That's that's my take on, on this game. Let me know what you th uh, think about this game. Um, it took me to Friday to watch it because I missed it. I was out at Horror Nights on uh Saturday that the game actually happened. So I was I barely saw the end of the game from my phone. I wasn't able to really watch the game, but I caught a full game on YouTube and I was able to watch it on the TV. So uh shout out to that dude for <laughs> bootlegging that um you know and making it clear and putting it on YouTube. Shout out to you bro. But uh yeah man let me know your thoughts on the USC game and what what do you have them uh record wise going forward. Fight on.